going to talk to you. I just did a live training in my membership group on this. So I'm going to do just a mini version for you guys. And we just are going to talk about what to do if you feel like things just aren't going well for you in your life, for your food, for your fitness, for taking care of yourself. And how do you kind of like turn it around because you just feel stuck. So number one, when you feel stuck, you have to move. You have to move your body, right? And the more stuck you get, the less you want to move. But if you just do it and if you just get it done and if you just get through like the first three days after that, it feels easy, right? Second of all, I think you assess how did I get this stuck? What happened? And just review over the things of the past that maybe got you to this place because it's good because if you know what got you here, then you can prevent it going forward because if you don't prevent the same thing from happening again it will right we all have patterns we all have bad habits and patterns that we do and if you don't figure out what your patterns are and then make like an actual plan of how you're gonna fix that and how you're gonna change that those patterns will keep happening that won't stop happening right you don't just get up, fall down and get up and then go on the exact same path at the exact same speed with the exact same mentality because you will fall down again it's just a matter of time so what can you do differently okay what happened in the past that got me here what can i do differently that's an actual actionable step that will give me results because what happens is people fall off the wagon because they get discouraged because they're not getting results maybe fast enough they wanted it faster so what are some things that can make it faster is don't make mess up as often second make sure you're doing it properly and efficiently and um third I think it's just like reviewing what are the things that make me fall off the wagon are there is there certain people that kind of like trigger me is it certain foods that I don't have control over do I know that I just can't eat that bag of Doritos because I eat the whole serving or I eat like 10 bags of them what are the things that make me feel out of control in my life and is there any of the can I reduce any of those right how can I put myself in an environment where I will thrive and do really well if I know that I don't do good going to a restaurant and telling myself I'll have one drink and then I have five, if I know that I do that, that's my pattern, what can I do to prevent that pattern again, right? And so if I know that I always do really, really good when I go to work Monday to Friday and I have my lunch packed and you know I have my, my lunch break at this time, if I know that I do really well during that situation, how can I make that go through to the weekend? How can I keep a routine like that in through the weekend and what in my mentality is making me not do that on the weekend? What's making me think like, do I need a break from my life? Oh, I deserve this and this and this because I had such a hard week. Like what, what's going on that's making me have a bad week or a bad month or a bad whatever? How long have I felt like crap for? And how long will I let this continue? You know, if I've felt crap, like, has it been years? Has it been years that I've been dealing with like, the struggle is real, stop saying that or deal with it, right? There is a solution to the struggle. The struggle actually is not necessary. The struggle is something that you're you're creating within yourself because you aren't paying attention. You're missing something. You're not fixing your patterns. You're doing the same mistake over and over. So it's up to you to decide the struggle isn't real anymore. Actually, I'm not gonna struggle anymore because I'm willing to do what it takes to fix my actions and the way that I'm living my life if I'm not happy with how I'm doing this, right? So anyway, those are the things that you need to go over. What caused this to happen? What were the things that got me into this spot in the first place? How long has it been going on? Recognize how like it started at this one year or this one week and then it start and then it tailspin and it tailspin. So what what will happen if I let it continue on for another two weeks or five years or ten years or whatever? What will happen and how can I change this going forward? Because if there's people all over the world losing weight, how can I become one of those people? If everybody else is doing it, why would it not be possible for me, right? Because it is possible for you. You can have abs. There are moms everywhere balancing it out and losing weight. There are people who work overtime everywhere losing weight. There are people with health issues everywhere losing weight. There are people with injuries everywhere losing weight. If they can do it, so can you. It's just a matter of figuring out what what will it take? Having the knowledge, having the support, and being in an environment that 
you thrive in, being around people who have the same kind of goals as you and will take you forward instead of backwards, being around people who have done what you want to do or are doing what you want to do, who support and encourage you instead of like shame you or bash you or make you feel stupid about what you're doing or make little side comments or are jealous or whatever, right? So surrounding yourself around like-minded people, changing the way that you think and act and you'll be surprised with what happens after that. So anyways, for those of you who are ready to lose weight and just like get your shit together and be hot and not let anything be the excuse for why you don't get to your goals, I have my online programs are starting in two days, September 1st. So I have a couple different options. The best bang for your buck option that I have right now is a 10 month and the price is a lot lower than like say for example my four month and basically it's an all online program the biggest difference between mine and others is that you're going to get nutrition coaching so you're learning how to build a meal plan so you don't need trainers and meal plans for the rest of your life because life is not a meal plan um so you're going to learn okay here are the carbs here are the proteins here are the fats here are the portions this is how you pair them together we're going to go over what you can order in drive throughs in food courts and airports how to eat at social settings and um like when you're traveling out of town for business or whatever right you're going to get life skills so the second thing is you're getting interaction with me and my team in a facebook group so you're not getting a robot you're getting actual people um, and you get a free cookbook with that. You get workout videos. You get 10 plus recipes every single month that you continue on the program. The link is in my bio and you will not regret it.